All right, so uh, Malachi Black, after doing a statement last week talking about how he had asked for his release, he said that in his statement, is now saying that he has not been released. He's taking Nobody- time off, and he could be back within weeks, he says. Yeah. Um, nobody's getting released. Um, that's the doctrine. Tony Khan made that very clear, I guess, in the last couple of days. And so now it's just, you know, he's not being released. Buddy Matthews isn't being released. Um, they, Yeah, now they may be back sooner than before or whatever. But um, that's the situation. You know, I think they were they were both wanting, you know, you, you know what the situation is. They were wanting to go and, um, you know, trying to get a way out. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's what we talked about last night. And that was the decision that was made is that, uh, I mean, it's not to say it's hard and fast and there will be no way and he'll never give anybody release. But I think it's pretty much the deal that, like, if this happened in the other company, uh, would those people get releases? And the answer is no. And uh, they signed the contract. Um, and so they basically now... Their option is to sit at home, and and he can extend the contract if they sit at home, or you know, uh, wrestle. So now they're going to wrestle, and uh, yeah, kind of a weird thing how that all turned out. You know, he waved goodbye, and now he's coming back, and uh, you know, now he's going to blame me. You know, but uh, that's that's what happened. No release. All right, we got shows coming up the next couple of days. The Dynamite show on Wednesday. Has so what do you got, think? But what? No releases. <laughs> this or, is exactly what I talked about yesterday. Yeah, no releases. Yeah. Um, or at least that's 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 the that's that's the thing right now. Um, he's, uh, you know, I think one of the things uh, <laughs> is, you know, he he. I mean, you know, like, like they really came after him. You know, I mean, it, it's it's pretty uh, blatant. You know that they had they came after so many of the guys um because it was multiple guys you know basically basically everyone who had worked there um i don't want to say everyone because there might be an exception you know but most of the people who had worked there you know the names that you think of you know i was basically told basically every name that you would think of that they would go after that had a previous relationship with with uh triple h um was contacted and you know told to you know you know try to get your release and come in and you know several of them went to tony and said they're contacting us we have no intention of going and several said uh we want the release and have and have been told no so nobody's going and uh it's weird though because it's like I know there's that part of me where it's like, if you don't want, if you don't want to be, you know, it's like, I can see why you don't send, you don't release guys, especially the nature of, of how everything is going right now. It's kind of, it's gone from, I mean, I think it's always been kind of nasty, um, because it was made that way from, from day one when they put NXT against, uh, you know, dynamite and, and basically, you know, and, and look, they were trying to run them out of business. That was the, the goal was to run them out of business, uh, make sure that they didn't get that new TV deal. And, um, so from, you know, that's inherently already nasty, but, you know, I mean, they, you know, you know, you could see that at certain points, uh, you know, Tony Khan worked with them. Um, you know, he allowed Jericho to do the Austin thing on their, on their, um, uh, you know, Peacock, which ended up being, you know, a great thing for AEW. It was a great move that they made. They had a great TV rating the week after and, um, you know, allowed the guys to do the John Cena show. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be seeing Billy Gunn. And, um, when they did the clips of the DX thing for, um, for the Barclays Center, um, I did, I don't even know if Billy Gunn was in any of those clips. I was kind of like, it, it went pretty fast. And I saw a bunch of stuff, you know, it was obviously focused on Hunter and Sean and, but Billy, um, Road Dog and Sean Waltman were in it, and um, but I don't. I mean, with Road Dog, you'd have to edit out Billy Gunn because Road Dog and Billy Gunn were basically, you know, uh, enjoined at the hip for years in that company. But um, you know, like if there was even like I, I like I never would have expected that Billy Gunn would have been on the show in the ring, 
but I easily could have seen like a taped message or something like that, which would have made sense for the 25th anniversary of DX. And perhaps that'll even still happen, but um, I don't know. I don't. I don't see like uh, right now. Right now, I. I I don't know. I think that uh, I don't know that that one's going to happen. I guess we could we, we, we may end up being surprised, but we'll see. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.